Okay, we are back, and let's go talk to the crew. Talk to our newest crew member here. Shepard, how can I help? Is the lab working well for you? Quite satisfactory. Found a few surveillance bugs. Destroyed most of them. Returned expensive one to Miranda. Nothing unexpected. Just need more samples. More collector data, tissue samples, anything you can get, I can use. Find new tech. Are there any medical concerns I should be aware of on the team? Cerberus personnel in excellent condition. No squad concerns to report. Always some matters, but nothing affecting immediate mission. I wonder if he, I, I've never heard him say anything else, ever. Why does, why is this here if it's never going to change? At least with Joker, when you ask about the mission or whatever, he'll give you updates based on the status of who you went out with last or how the, whether the ship's upgraded enough. And the same with Jacob. Any ideas on other ways to prepare for the collectors? Ideas, yes. Expensive, but possibly valuable. Can show you. Plus 20% tech damage. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Of course. Plague on Omega dealt with. Plenty of time to analyze collector intelligence. Impressive laboratory setup. Missed working for operations with a budget. AI in particular. Very helpful. Best setup I've seen since work with Special Tasks Group. Is your assistant Daniel settling in all right? Quite well. Safe and secure. Neighborhood mostly quiet with plague gone. Left him the security mechs just in case. Can't be too careful. Also tired of mechs. Noisy. Never used them in STG. It must have been frustrating working on Omega with such a limited facility. No. Loved it. Limited facility presents challenge. Save greatest number of people using limited resources. Security threats, gangs, mercenary groups add additional difficulty. Quite enjoyable. Plague stretched abilities to limit. Couldn't have asked for more. Also, enjoy saving people, of course. Helping the helpless, greater good, all that too. Nice retirement after SDG work complete. <laughs> Didn't give a crap about saving anybody, as long as his mind's engaged. Tell me more about the Solarian Special Tasks Group. Respected organization. Clandestine. Handles difficult assignments with limited oversight. Recon, analysis, occasional wet work. Identify problems, have neutralization options ready should need arise. Model for Council Spectres based on Special Tasks Group. Very similar. Similar in what way? Solarians lack numbers. Brute strength, military prowess, have to rely upon stealth, intelligence. Agents trusted, given wide operative freedom. Spectres similar. Given goal, told to accomplish. Better funded, of course. <laughs> Didn't have to buy our own weapons. <laughs> and her line here is kind of stupid. Instead of, you said something about special task groups? We've been just t discussing it to death. You said you were in the special tasks group. What kind of research were you doing? Not simply research. Several recon missions. Covert. High risk, served under young captain named Kirihi. Studied Krogan genophage, took water, tissue samples from Krogan colonies. I worked with an STG captain named Kirihi. His team helped me destroy Saren's cloning facility on Burmeyer. Heard he was part of that. Jury rigged explosive. <laughs> Always got job done with limited resources. Good captain. Bit of a cloaca, though. Loved his speeches. Hold the line. Personally prefer to get job done and go home. Probably military bravado, jargon, chest pounding. Uh, no offense. <laughs> Why would STG study the genophage? Krogan Rebellion's bloody, dangerous, nearly as bad as Rachni attacks. All species evolve, adapt, mutate. If genophage weakens, need to be prepared. What was the STG preparing to do? Military schematics for likely Krogan population growth, political scenarios for attack points. Genophage reduced Krogan numbers. Species aggression unchecked, population explosion would be disastrous. STG helped check Krogan rebellions. Needed to be ready to do the same. Simple recon. Nothing to worry about. What can you tell me about the genophage? Bioweapon designed by Solarian science team. Deployed by Turians against Krogans to end Krogan rebellions more than a thousand years ago. Affects every cell of Krogan body. Commonly and incorrectly considered a sterility plague. 
actually adjusts viable fertility rates to compensate for a high Krogan birth rate, stabilizes to pre-industrial population growth levels. Nice talking with you, Morden. I should get back to work. Need to study. So much data. Here if you need me. Now, I have a problem with Jacob, at least with Femship. It's okay with Broship, but Femship starts wiggling her butt. And I'm like, don't do that, man. Commander, can I help you with something? How we doing, Jacob? What's your sense of the mission? If Morden's modifications hold up, we've got a shot. If they don't, we're dead. Seems like that was always a strong possibility, though. Anything else, Commander? What do you think of the state of the crew? Well, we don't have a full complement. We don't stand a chance without the right specialists on side. Anything else, Commander? See, he changes that based on how many crew members you have, whether you've got all the crew members and whatnot. I understand you made quite an impact after you left the Alliance. Miranda and I stopped a Batarian plan to release a biological agent on the Citadel. That's when I first met her. It took us out to the Nemean Abyss and back. Save the Citadel like you, but what's the same? A good deed's like pissing yourself in dark pants? Warm feeling, but no one notices. The whole thing was hushed like they're good at doing. But I know what I did, and I'm proud of it. Any thoughts on how to prepare against the Collectors? They spec this ship to the original Normandy, but you were there. The Collectors cut her like butter. This armor just isn't top of the line anymore. People will die if we don't upgrade. Alliance had some new toys and secret dev before I left. I could try and pull a few favors. There's the bizarre animation. Guys, guys, seriously, go see a chiropractor. Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Sounds good. Have to say you run this ship tight, and we're getting things done. We keep on track and maybe we'll figure this out. I hope so. I'm not looking forward to the debrief if it all goes to hell. Is there something specific? Or are you just checking in? Mm, I think I'll go this way. you were big in the Alliance. Figured we have something in common. I did some things that caught attention and stirred up the Citadel. That was after the Alliance put me on leave, though. Didn't drive a Mako through a relay or take down a Reaper, but you covered that. What led you to Cerberus? The Alliance sidelined me after Eden Prime. Ended up on a job with Miranda that Cerberus treated like an audition. And here I am. I wish we could... I mean, they should have really checked the flags whether you did the Cerberus stuff or not. And also given you an option to like side with Cerberus, I don't know. You don't seem like a results at all costs kind of guy. Cerberus history doesn't bother you? The Alliance is all politics. Somebody has to take down the bad people. Cerberus keeps that line, I'm on their side. And that's why she's into it results at all costs. What was your proudest career moment? Oh, uh, covered this, didn't we? It was after getting sidelined. A Batarian group was plotting to release a weaponized virus and kill the Council. Miranda and I stopped it. And why would Shepard ask this? Strange that it wasn't bigger news. The real work doesn't get publicized, you know that. They say it's better that people don't know how fragile the system is or how close the bad guys can get. So, it never happened. Like you and the Reaper. And that's why I'm here. I can already see they lost a fine soldier, Jacob. That's not how the Alliance sees it. Hell, they did the same to you. General Public never knew you were dead. Or heard the real story of the Citadel. Did you know they used you on recruitment ads? You were the human ideal for like six months. Then they replaced you with a composite image they invented. Guess you didn't focus test right. Perfect example of humanity and they still dumped you. Hmm. You liked what you saw, Mr. Taylor? 
I meant that you were an example of what we can do, Shepard. Commander. I don't want this to get weird. I should get back to my duties. Well, Everything it has. has to be perfect if we're going to survive this. All right, Jacob. Back to your duties. Commander. Damn, it's just... <laughs> They've got it set up where you basically have to flirt with the dude. I mean, why can't you just be like... You can be fine with Garrus. Garrus and Femship can be like buds without all of this crap going on. Alright. Make sure everybody's... Yeah. Ferris Fields. Any news on your brother? He's gone. They're all gone. But we'll get them back. Shepard and Lawson are on it. We'll get your brother back. And make sure the collectors pay for taking him. Commander. So, how do you think we're doing? Well, the Normandy's not as ready as she could be. There's always more we could upgrade. As for the crew, you'd have to ask a, a people person. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last, I would never say anything against Miranda and expect to survive the reprisal. Jacob is way too nice a guy for the number of ways he knows how to kill people. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. Ever think about the old Normandy and the trouble we got up to? <laughs> yeah, those seem like the good old days now, but come on, it, it was hell at the time. Geth, Saren, Sovereign, and then we got dumped. We're stuck in a weird place, sure, but back then it wasn't all sunshine and bunnies. What happened to the rest of the old crew? I heard most survived. Almost did. Presley didn't. And the rest of us just sort of drifted apart. The Alliance didn't care. I don't think they liked all the non-humans in your crew. We were your team, Commander. With the Normandy destroyed and you gone, there wasn't much keeping us together. I assume everything's going well up here? I really want a chance to put the Normandy through her paces. I just have to trim up the drive output and it'll be like we never lost her. Safety standards advise against manipulating drive settings while engines are powered and in use, Mr. Moreau. Commander, can we shut this thing off? I don't need it in my day-to-day. -day. If you don't want to hear it, turn the damn sound off. Well, it doesn't change anything. It's still watching. Like some creepy kid staring at the back of your head in comp side. You just want to punch him, but he's special and he sets fires or something. Okay, a little too far there, but you know what I mean. Your problem, not mine. Thanks. I'll remember this. That's it for now. See you, Commander. He actually, he talked about bunnies there. He's got one line. If you stand back here and listen to his dialogue. Oh, what's this? Oh. He's got this... One line, I just, how's it go? He goes something like, Why is it always bullets and claws with us? Why can't we piss off a fuzzy planet? Sure, it's dangerous, but hey, bunnies. <laughs> That's a funny line. All right, uh, what do we got? Thanks. From Talitha. Oh, that's the girl who wanted to kill herself. Shepard, I don't know if you remember me. I had a gun, and you stopped me from hurting myself. My doctors say I'm doing better. One of them works with the people you work for. He told me he could get you a message to you. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't talked to me that day, but the doctors are helping me. I am getting better. They put me in a special school, and they say I'm doing good. The doctors say that other people are getting taken like I was. I hope you can help them. Like you helped me, Talitha. And this is from the consort. I thought that my gift of words had been incorrect, an embarrassing notion. But my contacts tell me you, you yet survive. I am pleased to hear that your journey continues. Though I sense that you head toward an even deeper darkness. When you fought Saren, only your resolve was tested. But now I fear you cannot rely only on your own strength. Take whatever steps you must to ensure 
that those battling at your side fight with clear minds and glad hearts. In other words, do the loyalty missions. Be well. Nothing about the roll in the hay. You and Garrus are alive. From Dr. Michelle. Dear Commander Shepard, I was relieved to hear that you were alive. I was devastated to hear of the destruction of the Normandy and those people who didn't make it off in time. After you went missing and were presumed dead, I'd feared I'd never see you or Garrus ever again. You and he did so much to help clean up the wards when you were hunting for Saren. The galaxy needs more people like you, and I'm glad you're still here to protect those of us who've grown to depend on both of you. Is Garrus with you again, by any chance? After being so happy to hear of your survival, I wondered if perhaps he might have ended up with you. I left a few messages on his public accounts, but you know how he is about checking his mail, and I don't think the com address I had for him works anymore, because he hasn't returned any calls. Maybe this is why we had to go see Harkin, because... Udina or Anderson knew that Garrus wouldn't return her calls. Anyway, always so busy on his grand crusades, his great passions, that he focuses on them to the exclusion of anything or anyone else. Anyway, if you know where he might be, I would really love to hear from him, or both of you could come by the next time you're near the Citadel. Thanks. Chloe Michelle. And here, this is from Chakwas. Basically, a message says, "Look, you can either be Paragon and get rid of your scars, or you can do this. You can do this research thing and get rid of your scars." And I'm gonna do the research thing, but it costs 50k. And how much do we have? We burned a lot of platinum on whatever research we just did. I got a lot Commander, go. you've received a new message at your private terminal. A liar, Kelly. I may have, but I read them already. Silly girl. Morden's psych profile warned of hyper behavior, but he is like a hamster on coffee. He's going to be a very productive member of the team. Anyway, what's up? That'll be all. It's always nice chatting with you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I know. Let's go down to engineering. Oh, and I want to get the uh, probe upgrade from Miranda. That's right. Definitely want to get the probe upgrade. New armor reinforcements really threw off the gravimetric profiles, but engines are good to go. I rebalanced the Gilborn coefficients and adjusted the anterior intakes on the second tier stabilizers. I love it when you talk dirty. <laughs> I love Gabby. I love that voice. I mentioned Ferris Fields. Let's go over here. It's just too dangerous for them in New Canton. I'm shipping my family back to Earth. You can afford that? Yeah, Cerberus looks out for their own. They're funding the transport for me. It's the least they can do when we're putting our lives on the line. Rupert! There's something different with tonight's meal. Seems like you put in more food and less ass. Yeah, yeah, keep talking. Commander, what can I do for you? 
Have you got any ideas for potential upgrades we could make? A few ideas, yeah. Yeah, take a look. Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I'm just finishing an operation report. I'm impressed, Shepard. So far, things have gone exceptionally well. As Cerberus operations go, this is one of the best I've been a part of. Well, I definitely don't want her to say that. And this line doesn't fit her either. Cerberus obviously has your loyalty. How did you get involved with them? I suppose you've earned the right to know. Do you remember when I told you how I was genetically altered? Well, that wasn't my choice. My father created me. He's a very influential man and extremely controlling. He didn't want a daughter. He wanted a dynasty. I ran away as soon as I was old and brave enough. I went to Cerberus because I knew they could protect me. If you say Cerberus protection, this one goes away. So you gotta pick this one first. How bad were the terms you and your father parted on? Shots were fired. You seem capable of defending yourself. Why did you need Cerberus? My father invested a great deal in his dynasty. It wasn't a matter of just leaving. I knew he would continue to pursue his... investments. I assume that Cerberus approves of your enhanced abilities? Of course. Cerberus fully endorses anything that advances the cause of humanity. Genetic alterations included. But unlike my father and his own selfish reasons, Cerberus and the elusive man believe in a greater good. They see the bigger picture, and I feel like I have a purpose here. Who exactly is your father? A businessman, but a very wealthy one. It's ironic, my father believed deeply in a human positive agenda. He donated generously to Cerberus before I joined them. That's how I first heard about Cerberus, through my father's connections. You've told me a lot about your father. What happened to your mother? I never had one. Most of my genetic material is based on my father's tissue. His Y chromosome was altered with an amalgam of desired traits from various sources. How arrogant can you be? The man is completely egomaniacal. Just another reason I had to get away from him. Why does this keep... This keeps popping up over and over, no matter which dialogues you pick. Talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used by your father, by Cerberus. Maybe. I like to know where I fit in the world. It helps me find meaning in how I was created. You are who you are, Miranda. You don't need to make excuses for it. That's easy for you to say. We've both been engineered for greatness, Shepard. The difference is you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. Your spirit and personality are what make you great. It's what makes anyone great. That's kind of you. I'm not sure I believe you, but thanks for saying it. Thanks for your time, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Anytime, Commander. Alright. Got an advanced mineral scanner. And I got a planet I want to scan. Right around here. So let's go scan it. I am definitely going to do that medbay thing. I don't like Shepard having all those nasty looking scars. We got 90k, that's good. Launching probe. Away. 
launching probe. Launching probe. Probe launched. Launching probe. Probe away. And I know there's one other planet I want to scan. Basically, I found garden worlds and green tinted worlds are very good for coming up with Ezo. Now, I don't need as much Ezo as an adept because I do not respect too much. Probe launched. As an engineer, though, I respect all the time. Probe launched. And also, once we get Lair of the Shadow Burger done, I tend to respect my squad, some of my squad mates, depending on the mission, like Kasumi. Against collectors, she doesn't really need, she doesn't need overload at all against collectors. Probe launched. But against other groups, having overload on her would be is really Launch good. Probe away. S or s take a squad mate like Samara. You have to get her all the way up to level 30 before you can max out both her um, area throw as well as her reeve and her passives class power so until that time i take one point and put it in pull so then she needs to be respect again once she gets to level 30. And Miri's the same way. I like to go with two points in slam. Or rank two of slam because rank one, they're generally not in the air long enough for me to combo with them. Also, I found on the Shadow Broker ship, rank two slam is enough to get them lifted high enough where they'll fly off into the jet stream. But rank one isn't. So, but then at other times I don't really need her to have anything but rank one slam. So I tend to respect Miri around depending on where she's at at the moment, what level we're at. All right. Q. 
Okay. Oh, I need fuel too. All right. Well, it's been going on 30 minutes. I think. Um, I think I am going to call it quits there. We went and chatted up the crew. What crew we have? The only new addition is. I didn't chat up Kasumi, but that's okay. It was, uh, we'll cycle through her dialogue eventually. Uh, but that's enough for now. When we come back, we'll actually do something besides talking to the crew. Do some do some missions. How, I think we're at 513 to the next level. 517. All right. Okay. Until then, have a good day.